What's going on guys, it's Asal, and today we're going to go over some tips, tricks, and drills that you can use to become more accurate in Overwatch. Because as with any first person shooter, accuracy is one of the most important stats when it comes to performing well. Note that some of the tips mentioned in this video will be catered more towards PC players, but the drills should be applicable to you no matter which platform you play on. I'm using McCree as my hero of choice for this video, as he's a hero that is very reliant on pinpoint accuracy, but most of what I'm going to say will apply to pretty much any hero that earns additional damage by landing a headshot. Before we get too much into the actual mechanics of improving your accuracy, let's take a minute to ensure that our mouse sensitivity is in a good place. If you're on the console, just sit tight for a second here. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Windows mouse settings and ensure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off because this setting is just a fancy name for mouse acceleration and we don't want that. We want a nice smooth uniform motion when we move our mouse across the screen. Regarding the actual sensitivity that you use, the trend in professional first person shooters is to have a sensitivity that is on the lower side. Now this doesn't mean you need a lower sensitivity by any means as sensitivity really when it comes down to it is just a matter of personal preference, but lower is kind of the norm as far as being more accurate is concerned. But by any means, feel free to prove me wrong and use a high sensitivity. The main argument for lower sensitivity is that you are able to make more precise adjustments to your aim. This does come with the cost of not being able to do a 360 with the flick of your wrist, but it is still possible to do one. You simply just have to make a larger motion, and this is where a larger mouse pad really is beneficial when it comes to that lower sensitivity. Personally, I play at 1800 DPI with an in-game sensitivity of five. This is on the lower side. It equates to about seven inches across my mouse pad to do a 360, but there are quite a few people out there who will go quite a bit lower than me. Now, that's not to say that this is the one and only sensitivity for you. Again, sensitivity is a matter of preference, but I just want to give you guys some sort of baseline reference as to what I mean when I say, quote, low sensitivity. Next, we're going to head into the practice range and note that while the practice range can be a great tool, don't get too confident with your ability to land headshots here as the bots have massive hitboxes on their heads, much bigger than most heroes have. The first drill involves practicing snapping to targets that are already in your field of view. Now, if you take Take a hard right in the practice range, you'll find these small three targets. Now your goal is to snap back and forth between them while shooting only the center of each target. Now if you hit one of the outside targets, you'll actually see it spin around, indicating that you did not hit dead center. Being able to snap to a target like this is how I land most of my headshots, as realistically, you don't have a lot of time to line up a perfect shot, unless of course you have an automatic weapon. But with McCree, for example, your only real option is to quickly snap your reticle to your opponent's head given that they aren't standing still. For the next drill we're going to stay in the same spot in the test range, but this time we're going to alternate between shooting a bot and the target behind us against the wall. Now this is another way that you can practice snapping to a target, but this time your target is behind you. So your goal with this drill is to remain in control at the end of the spin. So shoot the bot, turn around, shoot the target behind you. And when you finish your spin, you want to remain in control. You don't want to have to readjust your mouse. And this is when a larger mouse pad does become beneficial if you are using a lower sensitivity. But if you're having trouble with this drill, don't worry about it too much. As I'd say 95% of the time, you'll be shooting at a target that you can already see. Now that is one of the detriments of the lower sensitivity. It is a bit harder to do a 180. It's definitely not impossible. You can by all means still do it. You just have to make a bigger motion. But again, Again, most of the time you're going to be shooting someone that is already in front of you, but with that being said, it is still important to be able to snap doing a 180 and to snap and acquire that target. With our next drill, we're going to attempt to track our targets. Now tracking is especially useful for heroes that have automatic weapons and especially heroes like Zarya, as you want your beam to be hitting your target at all times. So we're going to keep standing in the same spot, except this time we're going to practice keeping our reticle on a bot's head as it moves across the map, or in the case of Zarya, at the bot's body as she does not do headshot damage. So start out by just tracking your target and not actually shooting, and try to keep your reticle on the bot the entire time. Snapping to a target and tracking a target are both very different as far as the movements your muscles need to make go, but both are vital skills to performing well in Overwatch, and it will only improve with practice. So don't be too frustrated if you're having a hard time with it initially. These drills aren't meant to be a 
evaluation of your skills, they're meant to be a way for you to improve the skills that you already have. The last drill I have for you is my favorite, but also the most difficult. So you're going to want to go into a custom game and turn the damage modifier to 200% and enable headshots only. You can also turn down the respawn timers too, as it slows things down just a little bit. So you're going to want to go add 6 hard Anna bots to the enemy team and head into a game of skirmish. Now since Anna can't do headshot damage, you'll never take damage with this setting, so you don't need to worry about dying, you can just focus on hitting your target. And you also have to practice hitting the head of one of the smaller heroes in the game, which is a great way to practice because when you go into the game and you see someone with a bigger head, it's a little bit easier to hit because you are practicing on the smaller ones. Your goal here is to obviously get kills, but try and focus on snapping to your targets rather than trying to slowly line up your shots as I find it simply doesn't work that well. And don't worry too much about missing shots either. And if anything, don't try to hit one target more than a couple times. If you miss two times in a row, just kind of back off, relax, as I find it best to kind of take a mental regroup if I've missed too many shots in a row and just try shooting a different target. I like to use McCree for this drill because he's one of those heroes where again, snapping to a target is of the utmost importance, but you can use this drill with pretty much any hero that can score a headshot. And the best way to measure how well you're doing in this drill is to keep track of your accuracy. For example, when I first did this drill with McCree, I was around 18% accuracy, but I've gotten to the point where I can hit up to 25% accuracy if my aim is on point. That's not insane or anything, but if those numbers seem high to you, don't let those numbers discourage you either if you're getting lower because the main determinant of your success with this drill should be your own performance, not anyone else's. So guys, that's all the tips I have for you today regarding improving your accuracy in Overwatch. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. I appreciate that so very much and if you have any comments about these drills whether they worked for you whether you think they were just trash leave a comment in the comment section down below and again if you want to see more overwatch content please do subscribe to my channel now everyone this has been a sal thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time